Hello again. This is going to be a discussion of JavaScript, and uh, we're going to continue making this to-do app. And so far, I've got an array, and I've got uh, you know a function to define to-do items, and then I've got a function that lets me add new to-do items. Right? Um, what else do we need? Maybe we need a function to remove a to-do item. Okay. And maybe we need a function to get a particular to-do item out of the list. Um, how are we going to go about that? And what do these functions need to do exactly, right? Well, uh, why don't we put a comment comment here? Add new to-do, right? So that's what that does. And this is going to remove a to-do. So um, there's a couple things we can do here, right? Um, to remove a to-do, we need to know which to-do needs to be removed, right? So since all the to-dos are in an array, they all have an index, so we can find them by their index. Um, uh, it could be possible that we want to remove a to-do from the to-do itself. Like we might, you know, have the to-do objects and say remove this this to-do object, right? Um, so that might be one way to do it. Um, we haven't made the whole app yet, and I'm not really sure where I'm going to go with it. So, you know, I'm not sure exactly. We might want to change it, but I think right now, um, why don't we just use the index? That'll be pretty easy, okay? So we'll just say function um, remove to do at index. How about that? That's a pretty descriptive function name, right? Remove to do at index says exactly what it's going to do, but it probably needs to know what the index of the to-do is. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll say remove to-do at index, okay? And to remove a to-do, what we'll do is we'll say to-dos dot splice, okay? And then we want to say the, um, the position that we want to remove, which will be index, and then we want to say um, how many to remove. Okay, so here's our to-dos, and this should be at index 0, 1, and 2. So maybe I want to remove brush teeth from the list, right? So what we'll do is we'll, we'll log the to-dos array first, okay, and then we'll call on remove to do at index, and we'll say remove the item at index 1. So remember, the array starts at index 0, so this is 0, 1, and 2, and then I want to remove the item at index 1, so that should remove brush teeth, and then maybe if we put this down here, console log to do's, this will show eat breakfast, brush teeth, tie shoes, and then the next list will show eat breakfast and just tie shoes, right? Brush teeth will be removed. So we'll save that and then we'll go back to our browser here. And so I've got that page open in the browser and we're just looking at the console here. And I'll refresh it and you can see, oh, there's one, two, three to-dos. And this should be eat breakfast, tie shoes. Hey, where's brush teeth? That shows three. You know, I think it's because the... Um, they're ref that's re actually referring to the to the to the to do object. So this actually shows me three, but when I open it up, it's showing the current state. So anyway, so that that seems to be working, right? Um, even though the the console is a little deceiving here, but that, I think that's working. Um, so that's working pretty good for us, right? So now what are we going to do here? So we've got our our to dos. How do we get at a to do, right? So now we need a way, maybe like because maybe we want to get a to do to display it or find some details on it, right? So we'll say function um, get uh, to do at index. How about that, right? So if we want to get a to do and we want to supply an index to say like which to do we want to get. Um, and then maybe we'll say return. So now remember, every function can return a value, right? And so when it returns a value, you know, that's, you're going to get that, that back from the function, right? So our function is going to say to do's um, bracket index, right? So we're saying, hey, return the to do that's at this index, okay? Um, so why don't we why don't we rearrange what we have here? So we'll we'll keep this part right where we add three to dos, and then um, 
maybe we'll do this. We'll say, let's make a little helper function. Let's say function, you know, um, list to do's. We this is actually something we need. Yeah, maybe we need maybe we need a function that lists our to do's. So we'll say function list to do's. Right. There we go. Right. Maybe we'll mark it here. List to do's. Okay. And it doesn't have to take any parameters. It's just going to list all the to-dos, right? And so what we'll do is we'll say for, and I'll just type the whole syntax for the for loop to make sure I don't miss anything. So it's for parentheses curly brackets, right? And then in here I'll say var i in to-dos, right? And what this is going to do is it's going to loop once for every item in this object here. And then I will be the index, so I will have a value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, depending on how many to-dos, right? And so what we can do is we can say, you know, um, about uh, console.login. And, you know, when we get the real app, well, this console log won't be here. We'll have something else in here to actually list the, the to-dos on our web page. So for right now, though, we'll just log the name of the to-do to the, to the console, right? So we'll say... Uh, to do's bracket item i right and then we can say dot and you can see brackets is showing me that this you know it understands that this array has to do's in it and those to do's each have two properties completed in name right so i'll just to choose name there right and so we'll save that and we'll go back to our browser here oh yeah you know i forgot about the uh, you know, calling on the function, right? We actually have to call it to make it do anything. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll call it here and I'll list all the to-dos. And then maybe just for fun, we'll say console log. And I'll put some stars in there so we can see like that's, you know, above here we listed the to-dos the first time. And then we said remove to-do at index and we're going to remove to-do number one. And then we'll say, you know, list to do's again okay so we should see the first list the stars and then the second list right so we'll we'll save that go back to our window here and refresh and you can see there we've got eat breakfast brush teeth tie shoes we remove it to do and then we've got eat breakfast and tie shoes left okay so i think that's working pretty good um you know we could go on we could add new items you know um you know, and then they should show up on the list, right? So I think this is working pretty good, right? So what else are we going to do here? So I think that looks good. Maybe we should start displaying things in the uh, in the browser, right? So uh, so I think this is probably a good state to, to work from there, right? Um, let's go and get jQuery. So I'm going to go to jQuery.com. This is just a helper. It's just a JavaScript library that's a helper library you know, for um, working with JavaScript. It just makes your, your life with JavaScript a little easier. You can see their, their tagline is write less, do more. And it, it's kind of true, okay? You just have to write less code and you get more done using this. Um, I'm going to go to this download button. I'll click on it. And then I'll find the, um, the link here. It's a script, you know... Uh, Whatever, I'm just going to grab this first one. I, I got both lines there. I'm going to grab just the first line here and uh, copy it. And then I'll go back to my document. And I'm going to switch to the HTML document. And right above, it has to happen before the main.js. So right above main.js, I'll paste that, um, that line that I just copied. And since we're working locally, we need to make sure that we put... HTTP in front of the name here, HTTP colon, okay? So it's got to have this in front. They don't have that in the link there, okay? So we'll paste that there, save it, and then um, maybe in, the, as long as we're here, maybe in the body tag, we'll add a div here, and we'll give it the ID name, you know, list to-dos. How about that, right? So we got list to-dos there. And all the to-dos that we create will end up, you know, inside this um, this tag here, right? Okay. So uh, how do we do that, right? 
Um, I've got my list to do's here, but um, maybe we should um, just do something simple to display them. So maybe I'll get rid of the, oh, actually, maybe we'll leave that here for now. We can just comment that out, right? So maybe um, maybe here we should make a a um, a variable there. We'll call it HTML. Make it a string, and then maybe we will um, add a to do item to the string here, so we can display it in in our, our page, right? So what we'll do is we'll say um, HTML plus equals. This means append to. So we're going to be appending a string. That means adding to the end of what's already there. Okay, so it's got nothing the first time, but the second and third and fourth time through the, the loop here, it will have the text from the previous loops, right? And then maybe, you know, when we do this, we should have a little bit of HTML formatting. So maybe, I'll, maybe I should do this as a list, right? So we'll do this as a list. We should probably make a UL in our HTML document. So we'll, we'll fix that later, but I'll put the list here. And then what I want to do is get the, the name and the completed property. And I'll have to add them in here like this. So I have to close the string and then use the plus sign to you know insert a variable here, right? So what we'll do is we'll, you know, it'd be easier if we do this. Why don't we just say var to do equals to do's with an S bracket I. So now we've got the to do here at that index in the array, and then we'll say var name, just to make it easy, we'll say to do.name, and then we'll say var completed equals to do.completed, and then we can put the name right here, and then maybe, you know, maybe we want the completed to actually appear as like a check mark or something, but, uh, you know, for now, I'll just put the completed value here. Okay, so we'll do that, and then um, let's actually go back to the HTML, and let's change this div to a UL, because we're going to put list items in there. That should probably be a UL, right? So there we go. Oh, yeah, we, let's go back to the JavaScript now, and uh, so what we want to do is once we've got all this HTML, we'll need to insert it into the, um, the DOM, right? So what we'll do is we'll say... Uh, ID list to do's dot HTML and then we'll take the HTML string that we created here you know and insert it into the the UL right this is the ID for that UL right so I think that looks pretty good just as a, a test where we can actually see something in the browser right so we'll save it and uh, go back to our page here and uh, refresh it Oh, and there we go. I've got eat breakfast and tie shoes, right? So uh, let's say we add a couple more things, right? So um, maybe after after we do this, he actually can just put it up here. It doesn't matter, right? I'll say add to do with name. Um, how about, you know, walk to school um, and add to do with name. Maybe... Uh, walk dog we got to do that um oh wait if we walk the dog we obviously have to feed the cat you know and there's some more to do items right so we'll save that and then if i go to the oh, the other browser right um and refresh it you can see there's all my to do items now uh, the second one is missing because we deleted it right um, but anyway, so I think that's a pretty good start there. We've got something displayed in the browser. You know, we store it in an array. We've got a couple of methods we can use to add and remove stuff. Um, you know, we probably just need to create a form here that will let us add new items from the browser, right? So maybe we'll do that in the next video, okay? So thanks for watching, and I hope this is interesting.